Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of the DAN Show, and welcome to my latest 2022 NFL mock draft video. Today, I'm going to break down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what I think they will do with the 27th pick in the 2022 NFL draft. Now, if this is your first time here, you're new to this channel, I just have to ask you one simple question. Do you like football? Because if so, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button. Join the growing community of football fans that want to talk football 365 days out of the year. Now, what does Tampa Bay do at 27? For this selection at 27, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this selection if I was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, uh, organization. This is a Dan Show recommendation. And... When I reveal the pick, you'll understand why, because I'm not really sure that what I would do and what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, would do are, are the same thing, but uh, I'm making this selection on what I would do if I was Tampa Bay. Now, they could go corner. Uh, in my mock draft, Trent McDuffie and Andrew Booth are available. Both these guys should be long gone. Uh, both these guys would be day one contributors and maybe even start a, as rookies a day one, but that's not my pick. Now, I could see Tampa Bay thinking tight end. Uh, as I'm making this video, Gronk is uh, not committed to uh, playing in 2022, and you lost O.J. Howard in free agency. Tight end is very key in this offense. Gronk uh, in, in had 12 starts last year, 55 receptions, and then per, per uh, pro football fo focus, O.J. Howard had nine starts, and Cameron Brait had three starts, so two players combined for 44 receptions. Now, Tampa Bay liked using two tight end sets. That's why you have three tight ends with 24 starts. And if you add up the receptions, they have 99 receptions. I bring this up because Tampa Bay could look at tight end as a major priority. And I think that if you draft a tight end at 27, it's a major reach. Uh, they don't pick again till 60, so if they want the number one tight end in the draft, they may want to take one here. Now, I think it would be a mistake. If I really want a tight end in the draft, I would take one in the second round. You don't pick again till 60, so you're kind of rolling the dice if you can get the best tight end available. But if you really want a tight end, you may want to overdraft and take one here at 27. I don't, I don't think that they're going to do that, but I could see the logic behind it. Again, before I reveal the pick, uh, this is what I would do and what I recommend Tampa Bay to do uh, with this selection. So without further ado, with the 27th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select David Ojabo, outside linebacker out of Michigan. Why Ojabo? Okay. In my opinion, uh, Tampa Bay had the best team in football last year. It's just that they laid an egg. Uh, against the Rams in the playoffs. Now, going into 2022, uh, with Brady coming back, uh, Tampa Bay is the best team in the NFC. Uh, their major competition is the Rams, and the Rams, they don't have a draft pick till pick 104. Tampa Bay has 27, 60, and 91. So using a pick on, on a player who may redshirt all of 2022, you can go ahead and you can do that and then use picks 60 and 91 to help build your or a you know, improve your team this year. Now, if Ajabo can only play in the playoffs, he's able to recover in time just for the playoffs, then you definitely make this pick because you Tampa Bay's one of the few teams that you can almost lock into the playoffs. So if Ajabo has any possibility of playing in the playoffs, definitely make this pick. Here's the deal. It's very rare to get a player at 27 who is, who's a top 10 talent like Ojabo. So in my opinion, Tampa Bay can afford to roll the dice. So why not roll the dice on a talent like Ojabo here at 27? Now, this is my opinion. This is what I think. I really want to hear from you. What do you think? What do you want the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to do with the 27th pick in the draft? Drop a comment below. Hey, let's talk football. Now, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, help uh, grow this community. Like the video. It's a fantastic video. Give me a thumbs up and ring the bell. That way you're notified every time I come out with a new uh, 2022 NFL draft video. Tomorrow, I break down the Green Bay Packers and what they will do with the 28th pick in the 2022 NFL draft. So I will see you tomorrow.